Welcome back everybody, Bakuzilla here, and today we are back for another Bakugan unboxing and review. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Ultimate Villoc. Finally, we are going to be taking a look at Geoforge Dragonoid's uh, counterpart. I don't know how long it's been, maybe, I think maybe almost a year? No, maybe not that long. Definitely has been a couple months since uh, we took a look at Dragonoid. But, um... Yeah, we have this now. We're gonna take a look at the box and then get straight into it. So down here, we have Ultimate Villoc with all the cards. Those aren't real cards. Where are the real cards? Somewhere, the real cards are somewhere. Here we have uh, his artwork for Ultimate Villoc. Then we have right here, the actual toy, Ultimate Villoc, yeah, Geo uh, Geogun Rising logo. Uh, combine the ultimate Villoc. We have, oh, yeah, just its logo everywhere. Combine the ultimate Villoc. Uh, what else? We have the back here, which is all the counterparts. We have this little cool artwork here. And then up here is what you get. All the counterparts that just combine into uh, the big... Ultimate Villoc. I've said Ultimate Villoc so many times. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna open this and I'll be back when I do. So here's everything out of the box. First, we're gonna take a look at the cores. So you get a Helix, which is minus 200B plus five attack, and a Magic Shield for plus 650B, the best core in the game. Looking at the cards, you get a completely cuss or exclusive uh, gate card. For this Ultimate Villoc set, 400 Pyrus, 0 Aquas, five, uh, 500 Ventus, 300 Chaos, 600 Orlis, and minus 300 Darkus. And there he is, Ultimate Villoc there. Wonderful, wonderful. We have the character cards. We have Villoc, Magic Shield, Helix, 300B, 7 Attack. I'm going to go through these a little bit quicker than I usually do, uh, since we got a lot to look at. Uh, Orlis Ghost Beast, 500, uh, not 500, 5 energy for 1800 B and 7 attack. If you land on a Helix, it is plus 600 B and a minus 3 attack. Swarmer, for 2 energy, it's 1100 B, 4 attack. If you land on a Green Fist, it's plus 3 attack. If you land on an Orange Shield, it's plus 300 B. And if you're Victor, team attack. Uh, Orlis Amphrog for 4 energy, it's 1400B, 6 attack. If you land on a Green Fist, you have Shadow Strike. And if you uh, if you land on a Red Fist, it's plus 500B. Orlis Baba Drill, 4 energy for 1700B, 3 attack. If you land on an Orange Shield, it's Double Strike. And if you land on a Magic Shield, it's plus 500B. Insectra for 1 energy, it's 1200B, 2 attack. And you got Reroll. And then we have this Sky Horse, which is really weird looking. It's got the faded out energy symbol here. And these are gold instead of the usual black. Okay, uh, 7 energy, 2200B, 15 attack. And now we are going to take a look at the Geogon and Bakugan. Uh, there's nothing special done with them, like with Geoforge Dragonoid. The Villoc is just the regular Villoc you get from a single pack. Uh, and the Geogon, I'm pretty sure they're, they're just regular Auralis versions of the Geogon, but I'm pretty sure they are exclusive to this pack, but you can buy Villoc anywhere. Anyways, let's just start taking a look at all of them. Villoc. Core Villoc. We're gonna go through these real quick so we can get to the transformation. Here we have Baba Drill. Here we have Sky Horse, which does have a foldy bit. There we go, looking lovely. Then we have Ant Frog, looking like a frog, not really. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Ghost Beast, which has some foldy bits. The legs here fold out. There you go. We have him looking snazzy. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Insectra. And we have him. And then finally we have Swarmer. Face is kind of bleak, but you know, whatever. Now we are going to go through all of these and transform them to prepare them to be turned into Ultimate Villoc. First, we have Ghost Beast, which we're gonna put his feet back. We're gonna put his head down and just basically close him back up. I'm gonna pull out this peg here and then take this out. Take the, there we go, take this out and he's going to be one of the feet. Uh, Swarmer, not Swarmer, Insectra. I'm looking Okay, so first we got, uh, I don't know how this works. Is this even the right one? Wait a minute. This gotta be the right one. So up, and then these go, which way did they, can I turn them? Oh, uh, okay. These go this way. Oh, okay. And then this, how does this go? Oh, oh, is that how that goes? It looks like this is how it goes. I'm looking at the paper for the first time doing this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't break, don't break. It's gonna break if I do that, right? Only one way to find out. Yeah, that's not, that's just not, no, uh-uh. I'm gonna leave it like this. That that's how you do it, guys. Like that. Okay. Uh, uh what's next? Amp frog. Amp frog here. You take out the peg. And then you come on. Ugh. It's a bit tough. Uh and then you just fold him up as normal. Except you leave that out. You just fold him up like you usually would. If, you, if you'd want to, why doesn't he want to? Come on, why is he being difficult? Come on, he's being very, what is happening? This is so strange. Amphrog, are you okay? What did he, did I, did I break him? What happened? Oh, what? Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, I see what's wrong. You do it like this, right? But if you want to have him closed up all the way, there, like that, and then you take this foot out. Like so. There we go, right? Right? Oh, wait. There we go, like this. There we go. <laughs> see? This is my first time going through all this. Uh, so we're gonna go do this together. Put his head back for Skyhorse, put it down, close him up, and oh, why is your head up? Take out his foot. Like that. And then brawl away like this, and then take out the peg. Take, take out the peg, there we go. And then for Swarmer, uh, you gotta put his thing back. So like this, goes like this. I'm not sure how far back, all the way back? All the way back, like that. And then you fold in his wings, like so. Yeah. And then his, uh, Feet, foot, you take, okay, no, you're not supposed to come out. Pull in his head, like so. That foot's supposed to be all the way down. It's supposed to be like that, there we go. And then, take out that peg. Finally, Baba Drill. Boop, head, like so, like that. Oh, you just, you transform him or put him back in his geogon form all the way. And then 
flip up the peg. Come on. Jesus Christ. That is tough to open up. Okay, now after all that, it's time to put it together. So first, Baba Drill. Take this, take this, put that way. There we go. Wonderful. Next, uh, you take Insectra. This, you're supposed to flip this out by the way. Completely forgot to do that. And then you put it back here. Whoops, back there, there we go, like so. And then we take Amphrog, where's Amphrog? This one's Amphrog, and you put him right here. And then, so Warmer goes back here. Let's go, oh, come on, there we go. Almost complete, he's almost arrived. Uh, this is Sky Horse, you put him over here, and then last, but definitely not least. Oh, well, not gonna be last now, because, oh, no, come on. You put Ghost Beast back there, and then Swarmer fell out, and then his peg went back in, okay. Put this over here. No, come on, there we go. And there you have it, Ultimate Villock. He's here. Not as stupid as I thought he'd look. He actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. I think I can build Ultimate, oh, well, he's falling apart already. That's a good sign. Oh, there we go. We just gotta push in a little. Yeah. You know, we got some loose pieces, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, uh, I don't know how to showcase this off. He's really big. Uh, there we go. Yeah, he's really accurate to his uh, model here. He's just basically a turret on top of this thing. That's what it looks like. Yeah, definitely pretty cool looking. I, 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 I like this guy. I'm still not sure if this is supposed to go all the way back. I feel like I'm gonna break it if I do that, so I'm not gonna do that. But, um, yeah, there we have it. Ultimate Villock. Just take a couple closer looks. And, um, uh, yeah. I like this guy, this guy's cool. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. It's outro time. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.